Welcome to the Passive Crypto Show. I'm your host, Income Pal, just an average person sharing my experiences on how to earn multiple streams of passive crypto income online. So feel free to watch for educational purposes and learn from my mistakes as well as benefit from my experiences and only follow along at your own risk if you decide to do so. Also, feel free to read the full disclaimer in the description below. And if you're new to this show, most definitely subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest ways to earn passive crypto income online. And as always, all relevant links to whatever I share in my videos can be found in the video description below as well as in the pinned comment. Also, make sure to subscribe to the Telegram channel t.me slash passive crypto show or alternatively search directly on Telegram passive crypto show to always be up to date with the latest goings on in the crypto space even when i'm unable to upload a video with that being said let's get into this episode so this video is about metamask mobile fix for using dApps that don't load on the metamask mobile app although they might be working when you use it on your desktop devices okay if you're using the metamask extension on a desktop browser whether it be on your laptop or pc or whatever the case however when you try and load that same dap using the metamask mobile app and that dap does not load okay so how do we work around this well we still have a way of accessing that dap on mobile okay using metamask believe it or not so what we do is we download the kiwi browser so you can go to kiwibrowser.com on whatever browser you have so here for example i'm going to kiwibrowser.com using uh, my brave browser or alternatively you can search directly on play store but to make sure you're getting the official one obviously come via the website to make sure you're not you know falling for any phishing scams or anything like that so once you get to the website it says play store okay at the time of recording it's not available on the app store yet so make sure you have a device which allows you to use the play store click play store it will take you to the official link if you open it with your play store of course and you guys can see i have installed here that's why it says open but obviously you would need to be uh, clicking install first and then obviously once it's installed you can open it up right and once you open it up what you would do is in the kiwi browser you would go to metamask.io okay the official metamask website what i'll try and do is leave all these relevant links in the description as mentioned as well as in the pinned comment okay so once you get to metamask you, uh, you click download now okay you can see that metamask detects my device being an android automatically which is why this is selected but what i'm going to do is i'm going to select chrome because remember i'm adding it as an extension and the benefit of this kiwi browser is it allows you to use extensions on your mobile device all right so i'll click chrome and i would click install metamask for chrome okay although this is the kiwi browser as i mentioned it allows the usage of chrome extensions this is why we are using this as a workaround to any dApps which don't load on the metamask mobile app or any other that browser for that matter because not all apps are always compatible with all browsers uh, due to whatever technical reasons that there may exist so you guys can see i've already installed it here that's why it says remove from chrome what you would do is you would click add to chrome okay and when you click add to chrome just follow the steps and it will add metamask to your kiwi browser okay once it's in, uh, installed you will see it available in your menu so on the top right hand corner you can see the three dots you click that and your menu will open up all right and you got the metamask option at the bottom as you guys can see it's a fairly easy to use browser and it's quite handy as well it's got night mode it's got you know ad block and you can obviously use it as a desktop browser as well by clicking view as a desktop site but what we're going to do is obviously go into metamask all right um so you guys can see it's the metamask exactly the same way it would be on your desktop browser extension so what you can do is obviously you can import an existing account 
So what you could do is if you have your seed phrase or um, private key, I believe, saved, use that and you will have your exact same account on as on your other device. If you want to uh, create a new account, obviously do so. Just follow the steps. Make sure you secure all your you know private information. All right, so I've just logged into my account. OK, and for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using load dot network. OK, to sh demonstrate to you guys the use of the MetaMask extension on this mobile browser known as the Kiwi browser, as mentioned. OK, and if you're unaware of load dot network, definitely check it out. I've done some videos on it already. My initial review as well as results as well as explanation of how it works. So definitely go check those out. But it is definitely an interesting and innovative and, you know, a very good paying dividends DAP. OK, um, and that's me putting it lightly. But anyway, um, so once you get to the site, my one is already um, connected, I believe. Let me just reload that, OK, for the purpose of this video. All right, so it says, please use MetaMask. OK, um, so connect your MetaMask account. All right. So what you would do is you would open up your MetaMask and connect it. All right. So select MetaMask from your menu. And it should show you the connect button. But if it doesn't. All right, then what you do is I'm going to show you here. So usually what would happen is the MetaMask notification would pop up in a new window, right? But if it doesn't open, all right, for example, as is happening in this video, which is exactly a good thing, I can show you guys how to work around it in case you face this issue. All right. So as I was saying, you would open uh, the MetaMask uh, extension right and you would find it here in the activity section and you would click that and that would make the notification pop up if clicking the metamask itself doesn't make the notification pop up but anyway in this case it's still saying not connected as you can see in the top left corner and it's not giving you the option to connect to the site in this case what you can do is you can keep, uh, click the menu within the metamask so that three dots here all right Click that and you can see it says connected sites, all right? Click on connected sites and you can click manually connect to current site. So click that, click next and click connect. And as you guys can see on the top left hand corner under the fox's head, it says connected. So that's me being successfully able to connect to this app. So you would essentially go through the exact same steps on whichever DAP you're trying to connect to. If the pop up itself doesn't open up or, you know, you're unable to get the notification for connection request to show up, you can manually do it exactly the way I've done it. And as I've mentioned, I'm glad this actually happened. So I'm able to demonstrate to you guys all possible scenarios. I've explained to you um, how you can just follow the prompts. If you ask you to connect it, just obviously click next and confirm. If it doesn't show up, obviously you can click MetaMask. And when MetaMask opens up, it will show you the connect page. And if it doesn't show up, then I showed you how to manually connect here by clicking connected sites and you click manually connect. But here you guys can see I've successfully connected by using that method. All right. So and you guys can see it works, you know, uh, perfectly just the way it would if you were using it on your desktop device all right wallet connected i'm able to mint load now lock unlock claim dividends all right you basically use all the fun uh, functionalities as i would be whilst using it on desktop you guys can obviously change the uh, view to uh, landscape mode if you turn your device sideways and you can obviously also select um, view desktop mode, okay, uh, by ticking the desktop site checkbox here, if you feel the need to do that. Personally, for me, this does the job, 
and I like this uh, mobile optimized layer also. So great work from the dev team on this app. And if you guys ever face any issues using dApps on your MetaMask mobile app, well, this is the workaround and the solution. All right. So hopefully you guys found the video beneficial, informative and hopefully enjoyable. So please make sure to like the video. If you have any questions, comments, feedback whatsoever, make sure to leave it obviously in the comments section. And if you haven't had a second up until now to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest ways to earn passive crypto income online, please make sure to do so. Of course, also make sure to subscribe to the Telegram channel t.me slash Passive Crypto Show or alternatively search directly on Telegram Passive Crypto Show and you can also have the option to direct mess message me via this option here in the description. And if you haven't checked out load.network yet, most definitely check it out on the website as I showed you guys. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a section let me just uh, show you guys quickly while I'm here. You guys can check out their Twitter, the Telegram, the link to the Uniswap, the contract on Etherscan, and also a button to add the load token directly to your MetaMask and also the link to the white paper. So make sure check all of those out. Uh, before I end the video, I might as well show you what it would look like if I was to try and add the token to my MetaMask. I've obviously already done that, but let's just show you guys so if I was to click that, okay, I'd be taken to this page. I'll click add to MetaMask and, you know, you'd expect the notification to pop up. But like I said, if the notification doesn't pop up when you're trying to do something, then you would manually open up MetaMask, okay? It's a slight hindrance, but definitely makes up for not being able to access it at all on uh, mobile. So you guys can see, this is the notification that would have popped up and I've manually made it open up by selecting the MetaMask from the drop down menu. All right. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to click cancel. But this is the workaround, guys. Whenever you're doing something and you expect the you know, a notification to pop up to basically, for example, confirm a transaction or accept an interaction. For example, when you're clicking mint and then you would want to con con uh, confirm the transaction. If you don't see the pop up, then you would manually just open up MetaMask and you would see the pop-up as shown, okay? And the issue about the connecting to the site, I've shown you guys all options, okay? Hopefully, you'll get the pop-up first time round. If it doesn't come up, then by clicking the MetaMask, the pop-up should load up and you'd be able to connect. And if that doesn't work, I've shown you guys as well already how to manually connect. So it shouldn't take you guys more than a few minutes. I've spent more than a few minutes, obviously, on this particular video to try and break down exactly how it works. With that being said, I'm not going to drag it out any longer. Until next time, I wish you all massive passive gains to your passive crypto portfolios. Thank you for watching and goodbye.